there, riders. It's wild rider here. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button. I like this video. Helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Unlike uh, some of the motor vloggers out there, well, actually, most of the motor vloggers out there, in which I've discovered, I actually respond to messages on Instagram. So if you want to, you can message me. We can chat. Whatever. If you're in the Michigan area, we could definitely probably meet up and go for a ride. Oh, he's looking for... Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, figures. No idea what's going on here. I've never been delayed by something like that before. A train, yes, but interesting. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I was talking about how lonely and friends I need. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> huh. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. 60 degrees. Gotta love it. Huh. I think I know that girl. Actually, that brings up my topic at hand. I mean, how many motor bloggers do you actually know or actually respond back to their people aside from, say, like YouTube. I mean, unless they already know the person. I mean, I had several of them admit, it's like, yeah, I don't respond to anybody on Instagram. Unless it's a, a post in which I did, I don't take any messages at all. I'm like, oh. Well then, I asked you about that. Uh, you told me to message you, and then you didn't respond? I mean, come on. There's a certain etiquette to things. I mean, if you're going to have fans or try to meet people or so on, shouldn't you respond back? I mean, I, respond, I, I wrote to Doodle on a Motorcycle, and she, uh, she got back to me right away. But yet, some of the other ones out there don't even bother doing that crap. Hey, Biker Bay Beth, I've messaged her. She's responded back. I guess if we hit, hit a certain subscriber amount, they just stop, well, stop trying to get that interpersonal care. Just focus on the stuff, and that's about it. I don't know, what's been your experiences with, say, like some of the bigger motor loggers out there? Let's go with uh, Blockhead or Shea Tree, Shea Lisi, Flipna. I mean, my experience has been good with Flipna. He responds back to me. Might be a day or so, but I understand he's a busy guy. He's got a lot going on. But he takes the time. That's the type of interpersonal communication which I prefer. Or communication which I prefer. Because it's more of a pleasant tone and you can actually pick up on tones when you're messaging stuff. It's all about perception and tone. Yeah, I knew it. My handlebars are actually tweaked. I want to know what your experience is with other motor loggers. I mean, what was your experience with me? If I have, uh, have I offended you? Did I not reach out to you in a timely manner? Do I come off as an asshole? I've been told that a lot by my wife, so yeah, go ahead, put your comments down below. Let me know what you think. 
I mean, I do care. And if you like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, click on that bell icon. And as always, ride safe. I'll see you on the next ride.